This is TJ Rogers doing a switch frontside 360 down the Hollywood 16. On the nine club the other week, he actually shared his secret for doing switch front 360s. I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip right here. When you, so. when you do a switch 360s, it remind it like looks like a snowboarder, like <laughs> yeah. in, in, in a respectable way, yeah, because it like literally sticks to your feet so Ooh, gnarly it does. that you're just it just like rotates and your feet are just glued to the board looks good Ooh, appreciate it one one trick one tip for that one for me at least like what i've found over the years i always have to have a fresh board and fresh shoes oh so that shit just grips your feet oh. so maybe that's why it's like a snowboard steez okay because like i can't i literally can't hold like the switch three if i have a used board really in the grip, in the grip tape like you know when you like because you know how people f file down like the edges of their board mm -hmm. to like make it like so it's not as grippy like i never do that mm, like, you just cut it and then that's it exactly you, you, don't, yeah. you don't file it never i don't file my grip tape at all mm -hmm. no i never do does it peel off at all no nope. never it's so if funny I how to. the littlest thing in your equipment yeah. so to speak can change a whole trick. Switch front three is a trick I've been thinking about trying to learn. And when TJ Rogers talked about the new board, new shoes thing, I knew I had new shoes and a new board on the way. The stars kind of aligned. And so today we're gonna be testing out this theory. I grip this board specifically like TJ Rogers. So TJ Rogers never sands down or files down the edges of his grip. He just throws it on there and cuts it and goes. That way there's as much grip as possible, which kind of creates that snowboard looking switch frontside 360s. First thing I'm gonna do is just unbox the new shoes and then we're gonna set up the new board and then we'll go to the skate park and see if we can land some switch front threes. So we've got the Vans Kyle Walker Pro 2. I'm hyped to have a fresh pair and hopefully these will help us get a switch front three. Next thing we gotta do is just set up this board. So we're like very nine club themed right now. So this is, we've got our nine club grip tape and our Chris Roberts twin tail. So I got like dirt on it cause I'm an idiot. But yeah, I'll set this board up and then we'll head off to the skate park and see what's good. We've got our board set up. So we've got independent mids, Spitfire Formula 4 tablets, independent Allen hardware, Bones mids, knob grip tape from the Nine Club, and our Crob chocolate twin tail. So hyped on the setup, let's throw our shoes on, go to the skate park, see if we can learn frontside 360s like TJ Rogers. You! Step one is just to warm up. I'm pretty interested in how this is gonna go because new shoes, new board is a two-edged sword. So obviously it's a ton of grip and that's great for like 360s and the board sticking to your feet, but also the board sticking to your feet. So I'm not sure how like flip tricks and whatnot is gonna go, but I'm excited to see how the new shoes and the new board feel. So let's get a session going. So if you're watching me struggle to warm up right now, you're probably thinking, this guy thinks that he's gonna learn a new trick on a shape he's never ridden in brand new shoes. He must be crazy. And you know what? I think I might be. I guess that's one caveat to TJ Rogers' secret to switch front threes. It's just that as a pro, you have the shoes that you skate and the shape that you skate and you usually stick to it. Whereas for me, I'm trying all sorts of things. And so skating new board and new shoes, although it is more grippy, it's almost like I'm creating more of a disadvantage advantage than an advantage but anyways the homies want to play a game of skate so we're gonna get some flat ground tricks and hopefully i can get more comfortable with this board and then we'll check back in right before we start trying the switch front three
was a, a good game of skate. Luckily, I was able to pull up the W, but I'm glad I did that. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more comfortable with the board now. Just with the longer nose and tail, the timing of snapping the board is just ever so slightly off. Like I went from a, re a really steep short tail to a more mellow long tail. So it's like literally the exact opposite timing of what I was popping off of before. But that game of skate really did help kind of help my mind reset and get used to skating a different shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying the switch front three on flat. Once I feel like I'm getting a decent idea of it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try taking it to the hip because you don't have to rotate the full thing on the hip. So I think that might make it a little bit easier for me. Who knows, it could make it harder, but yeah, let's try and get some switch front threes. Okie dokie. Well, I tried for probably a solid like 45 minutes. Did not really get any that I was super close on that I felt like, oh, I could do this. I got a few on flat ground that like not necessarily, they weren't necessarily like clean, but where I started to like feel the rotation a little bit. So I'm gonna definitely keep trying to do this trick on flat and maybe like in games of skate to get like the shoulder rotation and learning to like hold the board to my feet and bring it all the way around. But ultimately the flat ground switch front threes did not carry over translate at all to the, the switch front threes on the hip. Reason being, I never skate the hip switch. So anything switch or fakey on the hip is a struggle innately just because I'm skating in a stance that I'm not used to. So again, I'm creating a disadvantage for myself rather than an advantage by changing things up. So I thought that the hip was gonna help me. I thought that the grip, new board, new shoes, I, all, I thought all of those things were gonna be advantages and help me get this trick. But in the end, all three of those things made it more uncomfortable for me. It was almost like the advantages of it were canceled out by the disadvantages and I ended up just kind of nowhere with it. So I'm definitely gonna keep trying. I think this is a, a, a trick that if I work at it, maybe in a month or two, I could start getting it on the hip. I'm glad I pushed myself to try something that's like way beyond my comfort zone. And now I'm starting to think that maybe I could do it regular, a regular front three on the hip. Anyways, kind of a disappointing skate session, but I do think that I'm kind of like pushing the envelope of my skating in a direction that I normally don't take it. Ugh, just disappointing day, it happens. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best for supporting me and making these videos. I make four a week, so check out my channel, check out the videos. If you mess with it, stick around. Appreciate all of your guys' support. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.